Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is a question, and the question is, who do you trust? And that is a question that it would be a good idea for you to ask this week and uh, carefully look over your choices. And that is because yesterday we had a solar eclipse at 19 degrees of Pisces. And Pisces rules the traditional 12th house of hidden enemies and all areas of confinement and things that are hidden from view behind the scenes. And it can also rule escape, the things and doubt and fear and the things that you want to escape from that you don't tell anybody about. And so maybe you don't even want to admit them to yourself. And so that type of escape that I'm talking about could involve alcoholism, drug addiction, or sexual promiscuity. And yet Pisces also does rule charity, and it does rule forgiveness and dreams and creativity, particularly dance, since Pisces rules the feet. This is an unusual solar eclipse that just occurred, though, because it is not fortified by anything. And that means it's on its own. And so th what I mean is that the sun, the moon, uh, Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, and Mercury, four planets, are all in Pisces, but they are not being trined by anything. There are no planets in Cancer or in Scorpio to fortify this um, solar eclipse and new moon. On top of that, the reason why trust can be an issue right now is because this solar eclipse is very harshly aspected and there's a lot of challenges to it. And remember, there's no fortification. So the four planets in Pisces, the Sun, New Moon, Neptune, and Mercury, are all being harshly squared by two dominant malefic planets that are together, Mars and Saturn in Sagittarius. Sagittarius rules higher education and the courts and foreign countries, and it rules um, administering the law through the judicial system. So it rules pretty big important things. And it rules international bodies such as the United Nations or the uh, World Court or the World Bank. So those two malefic planets are up to no good. Sagittarius also rules the whole Middle East as well because they are squaring the Sun, Moon, Neptune, and Mercury in Pisces. But they are also squaring Jupiter in Virgo. Virgo it rules facts and proven facts and accountability, and it rules details and analysis and problem solving and service to others. And Jupiter is a planet of abundance, so there can be a lot of proven facts right now that can be mishandled by people who may have evil intent. Because Mars and Saturn in Sagittarius are being fortified. They are being trined by another malefic planet, Uranus in Aries. So if the evil wants to flow, there's nothing stopping it. That Jupiter in Virgo, which is being squared by Mars and Saturn, is also being opposed by all four planets in Pisces, by the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Virgo's own ruler, and also by Neptune. So there's a real standoff now and a good reason why you should ask yourself who you can trust right now because the planets in Pisces represent wishful thinking. It, they can represent a lot of deception behind the scenes, people with their own hidden agendas, or people th that are in absolute de denial. And what are they in denial about? The facts, the proven facts. Some people just don't want to face reality right now. And other people sort of want to destroy either the facts and interpret them in ways that can bring about malicious intent of one sort or another, or they can simply be wanting to destroy 
um, innocent victims, for instance. And so there's a lot of trouble with these seven planets and mutable signs squaring and opposing each other. And that makes communication and change somewhat challenging and difficult right now. So this is a, simply a time that uh, with so much light in the sign of Pisces, which generally rules hidden things, that this is a time when uh, we are entering a, a dawning or a new time when a lot of discovery and revelation can occur. In other words, people who this new moon could illuminate people who are fakes or phonies or people who are really good at covering up things. And in fact, even though people are refusing to look at the facts and want to sort of stay in their own dream world or be in denial about reality right now, that isn't going to do them much good. And the reason why is that with the sun and the moon in Pisces, as well as Neptune and Mercury, there can be a lot of discovery going on and talk and accumulation of information. And it would be about people who have been lying about something or covering something up. So when you are saying to yourself, or if you have a little suspicion that you are wondering who you can trust, I would keep your guard up this week and not trust too many people. Because whoever has been a fake or a phony or involved in a cover-up is very good at lying. And for that reason, and, and since they've been doing it for a very long time, they could be extremely convincing, even in their denial about things that are absolutely true. So this is a period of time when you should trust the facts. Jupiter in Virgo is being fortified by Pluto in Capricorn. So if you stick to known facts or common sense solutions, you will do just fine. But if something isn't adding up right now, I urge you not to trust it because there could be a very good reason why it's not adding up. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, that solar eclipse yesterday was right behind your sun sign. So in the background of your life, Aries, there is an awful lot of light. I mean, there, there are four planets in Pisces right now, and two of them are the lights, the sun and the new moon. So this may be a period of time, Aries, when there is a, so much light in the background of your life that people can discover uh, some sort of revelation right now, or even a cover-up, or at least some information that you had preferred to keep hidden. Or it can be that you have been in denial about something. It could be a health matter. Uh, maybe the facts are adding up, but you're not willing to look at them. But it would be a good idea for you to be real careful about your health right now and not be in denial about that, uh, Aries, because, you know, you can't get away from um, conditions that need correcting, particularly about your health. And you would want to correct them, I hope. And yet, if you felt uncomfortable or you felt that somebody had finally discovered a secret that you had wanted to keep hidden, you could make a very fast move right now, Aries, and sort of get out of something if you wanted to. Lucky you, because Uranus in Aries, your sign, is being trined by Mars and Saturn in Sagittarius. And Mars is your own ruler. So if you suddenly needed to go on a long trip or you needed to go back to school and get a little bit more training, uh, you could do it uh, rather easily right now. And that may get you away from some sort of situation that could be a little bit alarming for you. So if there's something that you're refusing to face and you're still going to refuse to do it, then maybe you can go in a new direction and be successful. Good luck. OK, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, the Pisces solar eclipse yesterday was sextiling your sun. And so that means that if a cover-up is revealed, remember, this is a time now of discovery and revelation, when we are going to be able to see uh, what has been covered up or we can see what people are in denial about. 
And if there is some sort of cover up that is unmasked right now, or a lot of light shining on it, that could do you some good, Taurus. And that's because the solar eclipse is sextiling your sun. On top of that, your sun sign is pretty well fortified and will remain that way uh, throughout the rest of the year until September. And that is because Jupiter in Virgo is trining your sun and Pluto in Capricorn are also trining your sun. So who can you trust, Taurus? Well, not everyone, believe me, because Venus in Aquarius is squaring your sun sign and that means that somebody that you're fond of or somebody who's talking about a future project may not have all of your best interests in mind since Venus is squaring your sun sign. So I would say stick to common sense evidence or proven facts. And if something doesn't quite add up, or you can be hearing a lot of spin, but you don't exactly see the proof of anything right now, then I would back away and not trust that, Taurus. So if, if you can just stick to what you're, you're really sure of, and you already understand the track record of it, you'll be just fine. But if somebody is saying, hey, you know, and, and they're presenting their side of something, I would investigate that a little further. Uh, Taurus, but in the end you could profit from some sort of cover-up that is revealed right now. Maybe that will just put you in a better light instead. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is simply a time when I think that um, you have to be very, very careful. And you are a person that should trust no one right now, Gemini. And the reason why is that there are seven planets and mutable signs all squaring and opposing your sun sign. And that's just too many, Gemini. I mean, that's 70% of all the planets. And so all four planets in Pisces under the solar eclipse were squaring your sun, and that means that if it means that people have been omitting information from you or outright lying to you. And I don't think you can trust anybody right now, particularly people who say they're the victims of something. It may not be true at all. So try not to believe anything you hear right now, particularly if it just sounds too good to be true. That means it's not. And Mars and Saturn and Sagittarius are opposing your sun, which means other people have malicious intent and can be intent on either bringing up legal matters that can be quite challenging to you, or they can be just very aggressive and want to harm you or even rob you. And so you have to play defense at least for the next two months, Gemini. And then Jupiter is squaring your sun in Virgo, and that simply means that if there is a health problem, you have got to nip it in the bud rather than be in denial about it. So you've got a lot on your plate, Gemini, and so it's lucky that Venus in Aquarius is trining your sun. That simply means that your future is looking bright, but you are going to be pummeled with a lot of challenges in the next two months, and that's why you've got to play defense and probably try to trust no one, particularly somebody who's very good at lying. Don't trust them, Gemini. You can wait. <laughs> okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is a very lucky solar eclipse for you because all four planets in Pisces, the Sun, the Moon, Neptune, and Mercury are trining your sun sign. And that simply means that if there is a cover-up that is revealed, or if the truth is finally known, or if somebody who's been in denial for quite a while suddenly sees the light and decides to take action on a problem or actually face facts right now, that will do you a lot of good, Cancer. So you may be rather pleasantly surprised at uh, some sort of discovery or revelation that sort of comes out right now because there's so much light or attention on it. And you are a person that could be saying to yourself when the truth does come out, oh, I knew that all along. And that is because uh, cancer sort of have a sixth sense about things. And so I think it will do you a lot of good when the truth comes out about something. It won't be about you. It'll be about something else that has been well covered up or there have been a lot of successful lying about it, but the facts are known, and people just can't be in denial any longer. So that will do you a lot of good. There could also be an improvement in your health at this time, and there can be a reason why you don't have to worry so much anymore. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? <clears throat> well, Leo, 
I think that since the uh, solar eclipse in Pisces was in conjunct or 150 degrees away from your sun sign, it simply means that even if there is some sort of cover up or revelation or discovery right now, um, or if the facts come out or somebody who has been in complete denial finally turns around and faces facts, I don't think you'll care one way or the other, Leo. And that is because you can be alert to sudden change and you're, you can stay alert to that for the next two months because there are three malefic planets in the other two fire signs trining your sun sign. And that simply means that on, a, on the moment's notice or in the blink of an eye, you could be off and starting something new or someone could be coming to you right out of the blue. So you should expect surprises for the next two months, Leo. And also there is the possibility that you will be uh, either traveling or having something to do with higher education or with the courts in one way or another. And you may have to resolve an issue. And so, uh, but you could do that successfully, Leo. Venus in Aquarius is opposing your sun sign, which means that someone else is thinking that their future is brighter somewhere else and may be going out of your life or changing something in their life. But um, th they'll be back or that I don't think that will actually really bother you too much. Just be prepared for unexpected change because you, it's going to be on your doorstep for the next two months, Leo. And you'll have to act fast, but you'll do just fine. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when you are absolutely loaded with facts and figures and you have analyzed problems, so you do have solutions which are uh, being appreciated very much by people in uh, powerful positions because Pluto in Capricorn is trining your sun sign where you have Jupiter, which is wonderful. But the solar eclipse was in Pisces yesterday, and there are four planets in Pisces, all opposing your sun sign, Virgo, and there are two others in Sagittarius, Mars and Saturn, squaring your sun sign. So in a way, you can be facing harsh challenges right now, Virgo, and yet, you know, yours is a sign that continues on and that works in modest, small ways and uh, is always trying to attain perfection or higher and higher standards of excellence. And I would urge you just to stay the way you are, Virgo. You will be facing challenges and some of them will come from rather mean-spirited people. And I think that what you need to do is back away Try not to get your feelings hurt by engaging with them. Simply invent some artful excuses to, <laughs> to leave if you can, Virgo, since they don't have your best interests in heart. So don't pay attention to them. And also, if you have been in denial about anything, this is a time when there will be so much light on a cover up or on uh, something that you've been kidding yourself about that I think you too will simply have to face facts right now. Not about yourself, but about somebody else who is perhaps doing things that you, uh, you are going to be surprised at. But the idea when we see things go wrong is that we, we don't forgive and completely forget. What we try to do is help people heal and get better. And maybe you can do help with that. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, Venus in Aquarius is trining your sun right now, and that simply means that you can be looking forward to a better future, and you should, because there can be somebody very nice, or there can be a good prospect for a partnership or uh, another project that has a lot of potential in the future right now, and that's because your own ruler, Venus, is trining your sun, so that's great. But on the other hand, that solar eclipse yesterday does describe challenging situations because the light is dawning on a new time now where of discovery and revelation. And so you might be a little disappointed in people that you thought were one way, and then when the truth is revealed, you're seeing them in a completely different light because Libras like to see everybody in a rosy light or with rose-colored glasses on. And I don't think that's gonna be possible to, uh, for too much longer for a lot of people. And so you need to be prepared perhaps for a little partial disappointment 
But uh, in the end, he, your future is looking very bright, and you should just head for that, Libra, and don't worry about anything else. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that the solar eclipse yesterday in Pisces does you a lot of good. Remember, it will do cancer a lot of good, too. And that's because the four planets in Pisces are trining your sun, Scorpio. And so that means that if there is a cover-up that is revealed, or if people who have been in denial for a long time suddenly do see the light, or do go ahead and face facts, that can be of benefit to you as well. Or it can be that there is some information that you always had a sneaking hunch was true, and now it can be verified because it comes sort of out into the light and uh, can be discovered by everyone. And so I think that that will put a matter to rest for you, Scorpio. There are no planets in your sun sign. This is an unfortified solar eclipse. But if there is somebody that needs help, I'm sure that you would be happy to help them once they do admit they need it and they do ask for it. And so uh, you can be a, a very strong shield to help somebody recover from something right now if you want to, Scorpio. But you can also go ahead and see a way to make a dream come true of your own. And that might be what you need right now, is to follow your own special star. And I think you can afford to, so good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, with Mars and Saturn both in your sun sign, being forcefully squared by the solar eclipse, which is the sun, new moon, Mercury, and Neptune in Pisces, and being squared by Jupiter in Virgo, you can feel as if you're facing a lot of challenges, or if you're caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, because you really may not know who to trust right now, Sagittarius, and yet you can be attracted to new things that can be coming right at you pretty fast since Uranus and Aries is trining your sun. And so I would say that you need to check the facts. And if the facts do add up right now and they can be verified, then you'll know that you can trust those facts. But if you're trying to take somebody's word for something, I wouldn't do that right now, Sagittarius, because, uh, you know, there are some people around right now that have been lying for so long that they are really good at it. And so they could swindle you or they could hurt you and or they could bait you into some sort of trap right now. And that is why it would it's going to pay everybody to step back a little bit this week and ask themselves who they can trust. And I urge you only to trust the facts. Don't trust what people are saying right now unless it can be backed up, proven, and verified by an independent source. So be cautious. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, the uh, solar eclipse in Pisces sextiles your sun, which is good. That means with those four planets in Pisces sextiling your sun, that there is the possibility that uh, the truth can be revealed or that people who had been in denial for a long time can sort of wake up and face their problems right now and be ready to face facts, hopefully. And that would be a good thing for you, Capricorn, as well, because yours is an Earth sign, and the Earth signs do like to face facts. And Jupiter in Virgo is trining your sun sign. So you are a person who can really be loaded down with proven information right now that is verified and correct. And actually, Venus is right ahead of your sun sign right now in the sign of the future Aquarius. It will go into Pisces uh, in another week or so. Or I think it's going in on the 12th. And when it does, and it joins Neptune there, there could be some very fond wish of yours that could come true, Capricorn. So if you are deciding whether you should do something now or you should wait a little bit longer, I would just wait a little bit longer, Capricorn, because you could be getting some pretty good news uh, in just another week or two or in the next month. And uh, it would be something that you had been secretly wishing for. And I think you might get it, actually. So just wait for that. OK, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, with Venus in your sign, you can certainly be looking your best. And you can be 
uh, happy with uh, yourself and looking forward to some wonderful future, which is great. And so your future can look very promising right now. And the planets in Scorpio are no longer there, so you are not facing quite the financial pressure or delay that you had been facing since the start of the year, which is good. And that solar eclipse in Pisces was right ahead of your sun sign. So you may see a way now as if there is some sort of light shining in the darkness that can lead you towards something that you really do want that has been sort of a secret wish of yours. At least I hope that there is a light shining toward a better future for you, Aquarius. But there can also be people behind the scenes that are very, very good at spin or hype or lying. And there can be a cover up that is now revealed or discovered. And you have to be a little bit prepared perhaps for some sort of disillusionment because you could have thought somebody was one way when they're really another Aquarius. So I would be cautious this week if I were you and check facts. And if people are trying to sell you blue sky, this is not the time to fall for it, Aquarius. But you really should socialize because you can be very appealing to people right now and romance can even be in the air. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, the solar eclipse was in your sun sign yesterday. So that means the sun, the new moon, Neptune, your own ruler, and Mercury were all in your sign. That means there's an awful lot of light on you right now, Pisces. And so I hope you have not been in denial or covering anything up or doing anything that you would feel bad if you were caught at. Because with so much light, you could get caught right now, Pisces. On the other hand, if you have been in denial about a health issue, this is the time to turn around and face facts. Or if you really need to go over your bank account a little bit more carefully, then this is the time to do it because a careful accounting of something could prove uh, facts right now that could be different than what you have been saying or doing. And so there's got to be some sort of reconciliation of the books or your budget right now, Pisces. But you can do that if you want to. There is also the possibility that you can be seen in a very good light if you have been trying to be helpful to others. And if you've been uh, trying to sort of be a ministering angel to somebody, then this is a time when you can certainly be very well regarded for that, Pisces. So I do hope that's what you've been doing. Otherwise, you need to be careful on who to trust right now because Mars and Saturn are squaring your sun and Jupiter is opposing it. So some people can be a harsh taskmaster upon you and be quite challenging and you can't get away from that. You'll have to face challenges right now, uh, Pisces, and that can be a little nerve wracking. But just remember, the lights are with you, so do your best. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see this show anytime you want by subscribing to it on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.